Hello everyone and welcome back to The Lower Show. I am your host, Lower Connor, and we're here in the beautiful Gateway Hotel by the poolside with my friends. How are you guys? Good, how are you? All right. Good. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves, starting from here. My name is Hanslin. I'm a singer-songwriter. I love reggae music there. Reggae. My name is Jeffrey Figa. I'm a contemporary artist. I'm well known for my paintings. And I'm Micah Trosel, and I'm a videographer that grew up here in Papua New Guinea. Uh, since I was 23 months old, and I love taking videos and promoting uh, Papua New Guinea to an international level. Fantastic. It's so lovely to have you all here, and also a big shout out to our host venue, the Gateway Hotel, which is part of the Coral Sea Group because this is just so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah? Beautiful. And we've got good coffee, everyone's cups are full. Yes. Because <laughs> we've got some hard questions today. Now, I brought you guys here for a reason. It's pretty strategic why I bring guests on here. but. I think you would have known now the entertainment industry, entertainment slash music slash the artist, videography. I think all of that is a, an emerging, emerging industry for our country. So I wanted to talk about your success stories and then I wanted to talk about what your challenges were because we need to be real about it. Um, it's not easy here to start um, anything really, but in terms of how far you've come along. So I, I might just start with you, Anselm, if you don't mind. What, yeah. what is, what, how did you, decide to embark on this and then how have you used that to promote Papua New Guinea abroad? Yes, I, I've been an artist for, like a musical artist for two decades now. Um, and I've been recording like since 1998, doing local stuff and um, just realized that, uh, you know, I wasn't making that much money here in Papua New Guinea. So I just decided to, to go over to, to New Caledonia. So, so I secured a, an agreement with, uh, with Mango Studios and I released three, three albums with, with Mangrove in Numea. And I could, I could see that I, I was earning, I was earning at least, you know, some, some money to, you know, to at least survive, survive. on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And build a house, get some vehicles. But then I, it, it like, the experience in, 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 in Mangrove made me realize that, wow, look, I could, I could make this a big career, so. So I just decided on embarking on on the African journey, so. The African market? The African market, so my plan is, if I'm big in Africa, 1.2 billion people, Lucky was big, reggae right. music is big down there, yeah? And if I'm big, and if I can get that market, that's all I need, you know, so. Um, but with, you know, with, with coming to promote Papua New Guinea, it's, it's a story, my story is a Papua New Guinea story, so. So whatever I do, the more popular I become, people want to know me, and, and they will Google, me and they will find out that I'm from Papua New Guinea and um, they will get to know more about <coughs> PNG by getting to know me and my, my success globally. So it's so excited, it's hard work, it's not easy, um, but I'm looking forward for every challenge and uh, my life is all about reggae music. Making reggae yeah, music. My. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now Jeffrey, you, you can relate to this. Um, you've, you've been an artist in your own right for quite a, a while now. Uh, what has been your experience? Well, I, I started painting uh, back in 2003 full time. And um, I've, I always had a dream that uh, one day, you know, I'd be performing in New York City I'd be traveling the world because of my art. Um, I spent uh, three years in my wife's village in, um, in Buka. And uh, I always say that's where I attained my uh, degree in art uh, because it really taught me a lot about uh, spending time on the land, um, developing a relationship with the land, um, giving it the respect and uh, giving back to the people. Um, my journey was very uh, fortunate. Uh, when I moved back to Port Moresby in 2008, I slaved away in my room for a year, just painting and reminiscing of um, the communal living in Boca. And um, someone saw a bit of potential in what I was doing and um, suggested that I apply for an artist residency in Auckland, New Zealand. Oh. Fortunately, I was able to um, I, uh, be granted that residency for six weeks and it really taught me something about um, the way that uh, the world outside perceived the, the role of the artist and um, yeah really broadened my horizons and um, 
when I returned to Papua New Guinea, I could see um, my place in the society or in the, in the modern society and where it was going. And um, big questions are, are posed and I find them today. And those questions are like, um, what are the uh, contemporary artists doing? Are they, you know, Alpinium culture is something that uh, someone today posted on, on social media. Um, Pinium culture is actually the truth of what you know the contemporary artist role is, um, because the contemporary artist is faced with the dilemma of uh, uh, bridging the gap between the cultural and the um, modern uh, cultures that are coming in, and um, and finding a way in which we can successfully communicate um, our integrity where we come from. Yeah, thank you. That's amazing. Now this is like a little bit of a flip because you and I are in. I would say the same kind of industry, our industries merge. Your story is a bit different because you're originally not from Papua New Guinea, yes. right? And, but you found a love for this country. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, I actually came here for the first time in, when I was 23 months old. And so that was, Papua New Guinea was kind of like home and then America was kind of like home, but there was never really that home. Right. And so my parents moved us here permanently when I was in fifth grade. and. Um, I started to connect here better than I had ever connected back in the States. And so as I grew up, um, there were some challenges, but there was a, a point when I was going through some of my own things and I was like, you know, I'm going to express it through art, kind of how you said. And so um, I got an iPhone and then I started taking photos and posting them on social media and people were really interested, like, wow, you know, photos are really cool. And there wasn't a lot of people doing it at the time, so it was still pretty new. Um, but then I started expanding into videography and then I saw how the, you know, the need for not only preserving culture but showing the world that Papua New Guinea is not only this dangerous place that the media portrays it as or this, um, you know, the, the cannibalism and all this ridiculousness that, you know, the international media says about Papua New Guinea. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to work hard to help change this and like start some things where people can all get engaged and just feel like they can help contribute to um, painting a better picture of Papua New Guinea to the international media. So That's quite a powerful statement because my next question, which we'll have to ask in the next segment is, what is the message you're trying to bring across through your work? Just think about that and we'll be right back. You're watching The Lower Show. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And we'll be right back after this for more with our guests here today. you're watching The Lower Show and I've got these fabulous people here. I feel a little outnumbered actually because I'm the only female but anyway we'll, we'll have to talk to the producer about what happened there. <laughs> what I wanted to know finishing off from our earlier conversation was what is your actual message you're trying to get out through your work because you're all renowned, you're all known, you've got hundreds and hundreds and thousands of followers guys. Their tags will be listed here, check them out on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube if you want to know more about them. So we'll start with you Micah. What is the message? You're, you're from the United States. You're Papua New Guinean at heart. People are going to be like, what is he trying to do, right? <laughs> so what is your message to the world? Yeah, it's kind of interesting you say, like, what is he trying to do? Well, you know, being, growing up in here and feeling the connection is just like, this is, this is home for me. And this is home more than anywhere else will ever be. But uh, one thing that's interesting about growing up in a multicultural community, not only up in the highlands, but even going back to the States is, uh, just having friends that are like, oh, where's, where's Papua New Guinea? And other friends that are like, oh, that's in Africa, right? And, <laughs> and, and so I'm sure you've probably yeah. gotten that a lot. And so, um, but it's just like, no, 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 Papua New Guinea's in the Pacific. It's this beautiful place. And, and they're like, oh, okay. But part of my passion is not only for 
people to see Papua New Guinea as this beautiful place, but people to know about Papua New Guinea because there's so much, so much potential here with, right. with tourism and and culture. Like you, for example, as an artist, uh, uh, um, Jeffrey. Sorry, uh, oh. <laughs> as a contemporary artist, <laughs> right, right, and, and being able to showcase just art and the culture through that. And there's so many um, opportunities to to show that. And I feel that right now Papua New Guinea is such a um, unknown place in the world and it's a huge it's huge compared to the other Pacific Islands but you look at like Tonga and Samoa and Fiji and the, the very very small places but the world knows about them but then there's Papua New Guinea and it's like you know it's still it's still got that that gem to it because it's not known but one of my missions is to be able to make videos like recently the 360 project right. and just seeing it get already 270,000 views in three days is incredible. <laughs> 270,000 yeah. views? Yep. So where can they find that? Facebook. Right Facebook. now it's just on Facebook, but it'll be on Instagram soon. So oh, we'll sorry, not Instagram. We'll YouTube. insert it YouTube. here if you want to watch yeah. the video. Yeah, but uh, we worked on this project with Papua New Guinea Tourism uh, Promotion Authority, and uh, you know they saw the vision and they, they understood, like, you know what, there are ways to utilize social media to to show to the world and so that's really what my big mission right now is showing showing the world Papua New Guinea in the most beautiful light. That's beautiful. So which one of you wants to spin off that? Um, well with, with me with, with, the, with the music that I uh, with, with reggae music you know it's, it's all about the messages about positive messages that yeah, I want You're singing with purpose right? Yeah, I remember you so, said last time yeah. you don't really get much satisfaction about singing about women. Yeah. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, well, I'm not saying it's wrong to sing about right. women, but I mean, if you keep on singing about women and, and you go play live, mm -hmm. you know, it's like you don't have a sense of uh, accomplishment or something like that. You know, like I'd rather, for me, I'd rather stay up on stage and sing about something that has substance, that I can preach. It's like I'm, I'm preaching to the people, I'm giving the message to, to the mass to, mm -hmm. to say, look, this is the way we, I reckon we should do, you know, in the, in the song. So, so if you download the album, uh, it, it's online, it's on iTunes. Spotify, yes. all the major digital platforms. I've uh, downloaded it. Did you guys? I've downloaded yeah. it. Yeah, I was actually listening to it last night. No joke. While you were yeah. speaking, yeah. I was on Spotify yeah. <laughs> following you. <laughs> so you go, Hanslam, Love Me Again. There are eleven yeah. wonderful tracks. There's a song about getting married. Um, it's getting married talks about. It's a message about you know as as a uh, as parents for teenage daughters, we, we can't be overprotective. Correct. Or we can't be underprotective. There's a song about the refugees, the plight of of you know the refugees around the world um, there's a song about god's god's love praise you jah see even if you're a, even if you're a bad person god still loves you you know so you know we, we all have a purpose in life and according to the big man above it's 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 the purpose is for for the good you know so it's just that you know we have to find our place in life you know and um, yeah so my message is in the music is uh you know, it differs, ah. Or good to good something I make him like country and for good country. At the same time, I'm you know, I'm happy to promote Papua New Guinea. You know, I believe I believe this is this is gonna be very big, you know, and um Congratulations by the way. Thank you, thank you so that, much. That if, if you don't know, you need to do some research because the company that signed Anslam is um, quite huge. It's a big <laughs> deal. And I think you should be congratulated. Thank so from us much. here at the Lewa Show, congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 hard work. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's very hard work. But I praise God and I praise. I want to thank all 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 the all the individuals who've helped. The like TPA, PNG TPA. Thank you so much. NCDC, uh, the Honorable Governor Paco. Thank you so much. And um, also uh, Spider Tracks and um, NOK for the support. You know. Thank you so much, NOK. Mm, yeah. So. Jeffrey, we're going to have to come into the next segment because I actually have another question for you, Anslam and Micah. Together we can discuss. You're watching The Lower Show. Don't go away. We've got more coming up after this.
you're watching The Lower Show, and we are live on location at the Gateway Hotel, which is part of the Coral Sea Group. So thank you so much for your venue today. I hope your coffees are still full, guys. Yep. You're not falling asleep on me, Micah? Well, I have water in mine, so <laughs> <laughs> it's almost there. <laughs> Jeffrey, what has been your message in terms of your work, and what are you trying to say, really, through your artists? Because some of your paintings, have you guys seen his work? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I just want to know, what, what is your message in there? Is it inspirational or is it close to your heart or is it about the country? What, what, what is it exactly? I think uh, Anselm touched on a cornerstone for all artists. Um, it's discovering, it's the journey to discover who you are and, um, you know, using the medium of love, you know. So expressing your yourself genuinely. Um, so that uh, you transcend cultural boundaries because it's a common language. Yeah. So yeah. I think through art, but also like um, coming from this perspective, coming from Papua New Guinea, um, I think that's the greatest asset uh, um, that we have, you know, uh, the greatest wealth that we have. Um, I, I have to, in order to, for me to really convey that message, I have to put it into context. Like today, when we look at the planet, we've got global warming as a major issue. Mm -hmm. um, we've kind of lost our way as a civilized, human civilization. Um, the Melanesian culture itself, um, it's, it dates back to 50,000 years, you know. 50,000 years compared to the, the past 5,000 years can't compare. You know, what we have in our ways are really the wealth of the planet. Um, and when we begin to uh, realize that um, and acknowledge that, uh, we'll be able to really um, add value to what we can give um, others. Yes, thank you. That's really powerful. So quick question to discuss, because I could go on and on, and I did ask this at the last summit, I'm gonna ask it again. <laughs> How do you guys combat your haters? Um, people, now, when I say haters, it's not people that give you constructive criticism. It's the ones that are just there to try to yeah. um, destroy you. And all of us here, I've done my research, have been victim to this yeah, okay. <laughs> individually. So, um, yeah, I just want to know how you handle that. Um, for me, I just don't reply. Think what you want to think. You know what I mean? It won't, it won't, it won't hurt me. Haters really. are going to hate? Won't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah, they're going to... They're gonna spoil me, they're gonna say anything, you know? It's, I just, I won't reply, I just stay and just keep on doing what I love doing better and as long as I know I'm right, you know, and God's with me, you know? Right. Yeah, so. Well, I'm interested to know, mm. you as an artist, what kind of hate do you get? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, I, I think it, it's, it's inevitable, um, it's part of the journey. It's also part of learning and reflecting. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a, oftentimes, you know, when something unfortunate may occur, it's often a time for you to reflect also on your own journey. Um, also, always bring it back to yourself. Mm. Uh, there's no point in reacting because right. it's So is it usually like an attack on your work? What, like what kind of attacks? Like for you with your videography, that was just like plain sight, like, you know, you'll get comments. For me with the show and being a public figure, we get criticized all the time, but what, like, and with your music, yeah. right? Someone might say, it "For me, it makes me strong." Yeah, you know, it's just, mm. it, it makes me strong, but it's good. It happens, you know. Yeah. it keeps me in line as well. Yeah, you know, it's just like. So, so Jeffrey, yes. you, what actually could happen in terms of an artist, like painting something, oh. <laughs> other than them not buying a painting, right? Artists, um, you know, artists are wise people and. And they have to, they have to look internally. They have to look within mm. to find answers. Um, they can't find it looking out. <laughs> so, um, a lot of introspection, you know. Okay. Um, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. So, like maybe other artists, for example, trying to go at you in competition. Sort of. See, that's a, an important thing to um, and and journey our journey forward. I mean, these are challenges that we have to learn to overcome. And, um, and that really requires us to, sp to speak with a more universal language, yeah. you know, and the medium of art, because it, it's not, it, not necessarily confrontational or aggressive. So you're not using guns or fists to communicate your message, but you're using, um, you know, 
a source of intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, that, that, that really goes and says a lot, you know. So like through your music, you're singing yeah. a song. The music, it's everywhere, yeah. world over. Right. Yeah. Internationally, yeah. locally. Man, you, you can think you're big overseas, man, but there's going to be... It doesn't gonna matter be someone, what you yeah, do, somebody you will do. always <laughs> yeah. find something now. to come at you. Bro. Yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> See, you both have had a lot of experience. We probably could say that we're new to this industry. How did you overcome the initial um, contact with negative criticism for you? Um, it didn't really become negative until I... Well, I shouldn't say I got bigger, but until the work started getting out more. And um, it's not personal because I don't really market myself personally, but it's a lot of toward the work. And so um, doing a lot of Christian-based things um, with missions and stuff like that, people are like, um, no, there's no need to do that, and okay. yada, yada, yada. But like recently, it's been just more, I think, um, people on social media just really, you know, people always find a way to attack you. And I, I find it funny because people will say things on a screen that they'll never say to your face. Mm -hmm. And even if they had the opportunity to say it to your face, they would never do that. And so I always think about it like, it doesn't really matter what they say. And then sometimes, like you said, you know, you grow from it. And um, like if something, somebody says something about your video that they don't like, or they're just coming at you about, you know, maybe consider it. Like maybe, you know what, maybe I could improve on that. Or maybe, you know, you just take it as a learning experience because at the end of the day, they don't have control over you or power over you. It's, yeah. you know. Well, all of you in your own right have so many followers. I just want to say it's been an absolute privilege to have the three of you here on the panel. And I'm going to open up the floor because if you have a question for these individuals or if you just aspire to be like them and you love their work like I do, you can reach out to them. They'll have their personal tags here. But I'll let you say your final words to our viewers. We have quite a few viewers across the world um, in our short space here online. And um, we plan to grow bigger. So um, online is is timeless so please share your message with everyone with all the viewers before we leave yes uh, please go online type Anselm love me again the 11 tracks please buy them online help me become a millionaire <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say that yeah man, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I love it Jeffrey yeah I'd like to say um, you know it's uh, I can never stop saying thank you and you know this is a words of wisdom um, that someone once told me, you know, never stop saying thank you for what you have, you know, maybe it may be great or maybe small, you know, as long as you're grateful for it, you'll be blessed. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, and for me, um, you can, you know, follow the videos at Trosa Films on Facebook, that's just my surname, um, and YouTube as well, but I really want to see um, just this community of people that are like-minded, like us, uh, that really want to see specifically Papua New Guinea grow on an international level and to just uh, inspire other, for me, being 20 years old, other young right. individuals to, to rise up and do their own thing. So, so yeah, if you want to reach out on social media, I'm happy to answer any questions. So, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for being on the show. Their tags are here. Please reach out to them if you have any questions. Find out when Anselm's going on tour, where Jeffrey's art pieces are now, and where you can buy them and watch 360. What is it? Visit PNG? Visit Papua New Guinea's Facebook page. Visit Papua New Guinea's Facebook page. Yep. You're watching The Lower Show. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you on another edition of The Lower Show.